But first, our team coverage begins with New Six's Lauren Cervantes live near Seminole High School tonight. And Lauren, a 16 year old is in custody. That's right. Police telling us that they took him into custody at about 1220 this afternoon. That's about 20 minutes after they got the call that came in at about 1157 this morning. Now, it is quiet out here right now. Take a look. The police chief telling us that both the victim and the suspect were students at Seminole High School and that this all happened, as you mentioned, over a dispute about a girl. Now, according to police, the victim is 18 years old and was shot three times, but is expected to be OK. Police are telling us that the suspect is a 16 year old student, but they are not yet releasing his name, saying they are still waiting to charge him. Now, we also learned that there were four school resource officers on hand. They were on campus and they responded immediately when they heard that there was a gun on campus. Police telling us that they got the call just before noon. And when they got here, they immediately worked to set up a parameter outside of the school. Now, we are also hearing from police that they were working off of a description to find the shooter, saying that he was identified as someone wearing a blue hoodie, a black face mask, and that his hair was half blonde and half black. The chief saying that the 16-year-old was taken into custody and that they found a 9-millimeter gun in the bushes near the tennis courts. Again, he says this was an isolated incident and that it stemmed from a dispute. Preliminary information kind of determines that it centers around a young lady or dispute over a young lady on in school. Presently, we have no information or information period that this is a gang related situation. Zero. There's nothing to identify that. And again, this is still early in preliminary. We're talking to witnesses and uh, I know they're in the process of interviewing the suspect right now as well. Now, one question we are working to get an answer to is how the student was able to get on campus with a gun on him. The police chief saying that they are looking into that and it's a part of their investigation. For now, in Seminole County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6. Lauren, thank you.